back, we are going to visit with Samantha Luke. She is the owner of Made For You Cleaning Service. Mm -hmm. And look, tell us a little bit about, well, no, tell us a lot, actually, about your services okay. and maybe how you decided to become a cleaning service. Just Well, it history. started six years ago. Um, I was just tired of working all the time and not being able to be there for my kids mm -hmm. at four. So it's really hard to juggle everything, plus the kids and making sure. My, we live, actually, um, they go to school in Flippin. Uh -huh. So I drive everywhere, you know, to go to work. And then it was just a lot of running. Uh -huh. And so this way, it's still a lot of running, but it's, it's wonderful because I can drop them off in the morning and I can pick them up at night, you know, from school. And so mainly it was the kids that started it. But what it is, it started about six years ago. I was working at Shoney's in Harrison um, before they had shut down and they were I had a lady come in there and say do you know of anybody that cleans houses and I was like I do I don't know why but it just <laughs> happened I just it just came out and so she's like okay well so she's like well come on over to my house and we'll check it out and everything like that and I've mm -hmm. been cleaning for her for six years now oh wow um, and so um, I just kind of went on a little bit more from there of course, I've went in and out of jobs and stuff like that um, trying to you know go further on that right. and it just it kept coming back to this, so I think that God was involved with that and mm -hmm. telling me you you need to do this. You can so, kind of cater to your schedule. Yes, this way. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. It's also it's better money, you know, just mm -hmm. all together. It's and you've graduated into a bigger business because you have other have. people that, that help you clean too. I have too. two other maids right now that are working under me. Um, I've trained them well. Um, they, I have good reviews um, on their Facebook page. We do have a Made mm -hmm. For You Cleaning oh, okay. Facebook page. So you, you, put yourself, you, you put yourself out there, yes. open to the public to, to give, to give their ratings. Yes, comments, and I, and and I ratings. want them yeah. to because, I mean, if they can, you know, if they can let somebody else see that, you know, this is a trustworthy company as well as my girls are trustworthy, it's a big deal. It you is know, a big it's, deal. It's a safety situation and it's comfort, you know. Whenever people come home, they want a clean house, and, and it's great that we can we can do that and provide that for them. And I, I, I've had someone that's been able to clean my house, whatever, since my son was young, but you know that you don't want to come home and have to redo. No. <laughs> I mean, part, so. It's not, it's not fun. It really isn't, especially if you work all day long, and then you can come home to smelling good, and, you know, the house is clean. And dependable. It's like a big weight yeah. off yeah. your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. dependable, yeah. somebody that shows up on time when they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. What do you mean so. redo? Well, I mean, Redo like there was they... things that were missed. Oh. You okay. know, and, and and I totally understand when someone's first starts cleaning a house, there may be things that you mm -hmm. you want the feedback mm -hmm. from the customer as That's to what, we ask. what do we, did we not do that you want to see done mm -hmm. and those kind of things. But you you don't want to have to re or you know. I mm -hmm. get what she's saying definitely yeah, okay. because we we do run across that a couple. You know, we've we've done that a couple of times, <laughs> but. During the time that I've been, you know, doing this, I mean, I've, like I said, I've been doing this for six years. I've kind of seasoned in it a little bit. I kind of know what can be used in certain areas, what mm -hmm. can't be used in certain areas, <laughs> certain things that you really don't want to see, like streaks on the mirror, um, you know, mm -hmm. water spots left on the countertops. You don't want any of if that. If you're going to yeah. pay for the service, on. then you want it yes. to be done right, and I mean, just like anything. I don't yeah. understand why <laughs> there's streaks on, you know, like the, the metal, you know, like the, the aluminum, silver, Mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. you want that stuff polished yeah. so right. we do that we make well it sure depends on the good. on the on the you call them maids it depends on the maid how uh, how much attention to detail they have too it is very true yes and that's because that's some maids don't need to be maids I, I would assume I, I agree there are some out there that we've <laughs> we've had people come in and be like I'm sorry but we are not very happy with the other maid that we had and we're giving you a chance so please don't you know make us regret it and of course you know we come in and I tell them look what we like to do, because we, we get a phone call or something like that, and I'll be like, can you just give me a phone estimate over the phone? And I'm like, well, no, I'm sorry, but we will not space. do that. And the reason why we won't do that is because we want to be able to come to your home. <laughs> we want to be able to do a complete walkthrough so we know what we're getting into before mm -hmm. we even be, or we're even able to give you an estimate. Well, there's probably different levels of cleanliness for the person, too. There is. So what we do is we go in there, we walk around with them, they show us exactly what they want cleaned. They, I'm like, okay, do you have a, an aversion to any types of smells you don't like? Mm -hmm. um, and if there are certain smells that we use that you don't like, then, right. you know, let us know. We can fix that on the next one. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is we tell them usually on the first initial cleaning it will be a little more expensive. And the reason why we do that is due to the fact that we get in there. We get in the, co the crooks and crannies. We, we, you know, make sure that all of it's clean. Mm -hmm. When we leave, it's a whole new slate. And every time we come back, all we do is upkeep after that, so it's cheaper. Okay. 
Right. You know? So that's what we try to do. And on that first initial cleaning, we tell them, look, if there was something we did not do that you did not want, that you wanted us to do, if there's something that you want done differently, you need to let us know because right. unless you tell us, there's nothing we can do about it. Right. Mm -hmm. So we do that and we, we discuss things pretty much pertaining to cleaning. And then, of course, you know, we fall in love with our clients because they end up becoming our family and, you know, um, like I go above and beyond my job. I have a few clients that just can't do certain things. So I come in and I'm like, what do you want to eat done today? It's not just cleaning I do. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they become my family and my right. friends. Do you, if someone needs it, do, does laundry ever play a part in that? Yes, it does. If, if they request yes. that? Uh-huh. We do carpets. We do windows. Wow. We can do laundry. It is an upcharge. We can do the inside of refrigerators. It is an upcharge right. as well as the stoves, inside of the stoves. But we That's do the an outside. important spot. It is. It is. I mean, there's a lot of people that, you know, of course, it's out of sight, out of mind most of the time. But there are certain instances mm. where people are like, oh, my God, we don't want to do that. So they just close <laughs> it back, you know. And then they call me. <laughs> and then yeah. we come in and we get it done. And we do it right. Now, yeah. now one other question. Do you ever do just a, okay, not necessarily a scheduled cleaning, but random? We have, if you we have do one time, times. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. okay. We do one times. We do weekly, biweekly, monthly. Um, we have specials that we run occasionally. Like right now, we have the, of course, sweetheart special. Uh -huh. It's, um, you know, women and men. There are certain men that like to come home to a clean house, you know. And there are certain situations <laughs> where, you know, the women would love to just come home and have a big surprise. Well, this is a gigantic surprise mm -hmm. for their husband to go to that extent to mm -hmm. go out and get them that, you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, them come home and be like, oh, my gosh, what happened? And maybe who? <laughs> we, so. I mean, we just got um, right. a rating the other day, a review the other day on Facebook. Um, we had uh, Trent Fierce. <laughs> we went and cleaned his house, and um, he wanted to surprise his wife. So that's what we did is we surprised his wife and she came home and she goes, I don't know who these cleaning fairies were, but please come back. You know, she was very, very happy. Um, and I mean, that's all we expect. Now, I know. A, I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, if that's a special, how do you how do you price that? Usually what we try to do is like if it's a if it's a major deep clean, because this one was, you know, we, we try to because. Okay, if we go in and he's like, well, I just want this one area clean, it's, it's a separate kind of charge. It's right. kind of hard mm -hmm. to give mm -hmm. you a, a, an account on what we so can do. So you have do. to talk with the client to find yes. out what's it's going on. It's probably right. not necessarily a, an hourly charge. It's a No, we it's try a, to do it by the job because the job. it's unfair to do it by hour. <laughs> right. It really is. Because, because when the time's up, you're gone. Mm -hmm. You didn't get it all And clean. I mean, even if we did it by hour, you know, if we charge $15 an hour, $20 an hour, there may be eight hours that I'm going to spend there, and that puts you in a you know right. pretty good sure. lump sum yeah. that you're going to have to right. pay. And I don't like doing that. I like to go in there and be like, "Hey, this is how much There's, it is," and if I have to, cost, yeah. right? And if I have to take a, a cut in it, that uh, that's fine. I'd rather do that than put you out. And that's the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. Is that we okay. are very competitive in our pricing. Um, we try to make sure you know it's fair because mm -hmm. it's. Un I've had a lot of people say, "Oh my gosh, that's cheapest than anybody's ever you know done." And I'm like, "Well, it's because." I'd rather get the, jun done, the job done right and have you as a customer further on down the line. And you have openings available? We do have openings available. Like I said, I do have uh, me and two other maids that are working right now. We are in the process of taking on another one, so we're hoping to get them trained very soon and, and get them put out there in the field. So we're trying to, um, right now, fill rosters okay. pretty much and, okay. and get, our, get our schedules full. We do like to always leave that one day a week just open, just in case we have special, you know, considerations that we right. come across. Because we do have a lot of clients. Um, hey, my sister, she wants you to do our house. You know, you did such a good job on mm -hmm. mine. Please do hers, and, and I'll pay for it. You know, we have that a lot. Around Christmas time, we get that a lot. Around mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. sure a lot do. of people yeah. are, you know, into that. You know, mm -hmm. I want my house clean before everybody comes Extra and visits, right. you know. Yeah. I want yeah. to clean after they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> we have done that as well. <laughs> we have done that as I'm well. Getting, Another too. wonderful thing that we do is when we do, like, um, the walkthroughs and stuff, we, what we request is if you have a bed, most people have beds, um, if you have a bed, then you put the sheets on the end of the bed. We'll clean your, we'll change your sheets as well, oh, and we'll nice. make your bed nice. for you and have it all nice and neat when you come home. So if you want to leave it just thrown all over the place and put me some sheets on the end, I'll know what to do. Right. Um, we we walk through and we tell you exactly what we do, okay. and then we get our feedback. It's okay. basically a custom made service per yes. client. It is. So it whatever is. they need. Okay. It is very much so. Yeah. Well, we had uh, your phone number up on the screen, mm -hmm. and and if you want to 
surprise your sweetheart? How long does that go? Does it go on? It goes on to, to the end of February. End of February. Okay. Mm -hmm. all, the, all this month. We also do gift cards too. So if anybody's okay. like, hey, I've got a girlfriend. She needs her house clean. How much, you know, blah, blah, blah. What we can do is we can, if we need to sneak it, we can sneak it. We'll give you like a kind of a, a somewhat quote right, about it, you, you can, know, yeah. right. It, as much as we can do um, if we know the extent of how, how much clean needs mm -hmm. to yeah. be done. So, okay. good. But yeah. Good deal. Let's talk about mop. Yeah, let's okay. mop. So the mob, it's masterminds of business. And what we do is it's a networking group that we, it's designed for us to be able to come in, feel comfortable, and be able to tell about our businesses every Wednesday. It's from 8 to 9.30. Um, it's, um, it's at the uh, Bear State Bank. Sorry, I was going to say First Federal. Bear State <laughs> Bank um, in Harrison, the North Branch. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's upstairs. What we do is we meet every Wednesday and we discuss what, what's new with our business, what's our ideal client, and stuff like that. And then we network and we do it's referrals for networking. each other. Oh, okay. Yes. So we have our business cards, and we pass out our business cards, and, you know, like, we need more people, actually, more businesses, because it's, it's actually, it's designed to where, like, me being a maid, mm -hmm. there's no other maid that can come in there and take over, because I'm going to be the one that sealed my spot by paying the $100 for the, okay. yes. Is that so a yearly? It's yearly, okay. yes. And you come in and, you know, you can come in for three times before you have to make a decision on what you want to do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. further. But, um, I mean, it's wonderful because you can come in, you could see how it is, and you could even speak up as, as being a, um, a person that, you know, just comes in mm -hmm. and is just like, hey, I'm a guest. You can speak up and you can tell about your business. You can pass out your cards because we have our own special slot for our guests. And then um, you can make a decision on if you want to be here or not, you know. So it sounds good. like a great network. Yeah. It is wonderful, and we are opening up a new chapter as well in, here in town. Wow. But we are trying to fill ours as well before. So, if you guys do want to come, just make so sure there's going to be in. two chapters in Harrison. There will be, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm not sure exactly when that one next one. So would that give if the second chapter would give a whole new? Slot if another open maid wanted to go maid. in, okay. yes, yes, okay. then they could. Yeah, but right. me on the other hand, with this group, we we are looking like for mechanics and you know just different things like that to, mm -hmm. to come in and check group. us out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But okay. we could tell more about that, of course, on a right. later date. Right. We'll uh, come back in and explain what's going on, who all we need, and we'll we'll That'd bring some okay. people in. Yeah, all right, okay. that'd be nice. Sounds good. Well, Samantha, thank you for coming. Well, thank thanks. you. And good luck with uh, thank you. your uh, sweetheart's deal. Thank you. And maybe you'll pick up some new clients. Somebody that wants mm -hmm. that specialized. Attention to their yes, cleaning and I mean if cleaning. we can't if if we can't like if you have a problem that you just you've tried to clean it, we'll find a way. We okay. always do. So yeah, that thing cannot be there cleaned. <laughs> Let's call Samantha. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> right. We will find a way. Thanks okay. a lot. Appreciate Thanks. it. All right, thank you. Well, that's it for us. Thanks for joining us today. We had a, a great. I think we had a great show. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> we had an awesome show. We had a business. Uh, uh, we had a. I want you to try to talk without your hands. Concerned. We had a business thing going on, and we uh, had the mob. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank all the guests being uh, on the show today, and if you'd like to be a part of what we do here, you can give us a call. We've got our own mob thing going on here. If you're a business that'd like to be a part of, of uh, getting the word out to our over 133,000 uh, viewers, you can do that by contact contacting us here at Hometown TV. We are located in Harrison at 400 South Sycamore in Harrison, Arkansas, 870-741-4891. We have a Facebook page, Hometown Television. also have a uh, website, hometowntv.net, so check us out there. And if you'd like to be a part of the show, just give us a call or contact us at one of those contact points, and we'll be glad to get back with you. Anything else you'd like to add? Are you falling asleep? <laughs> this is this this is the promotional. It is. It's feel good. at the very it end of the good. show that I try to like to do. I, I you like know for you to that. do it. I like for you to do it. You do it next time. No, you just keep on. Keep on. Yeah. You wanna know what I'm doing next week? What are you doing next week? No, you have to ask me next week. We will see you here in Harrison <laughs> in two weeks. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again next time.